and bullet journals, art journals, art projects, organized planner sheet. Well, hello everyone and welcome to Organized Planner Chic. I'm Lucinda and if you haven't subscribed already, please do so and select the bell for notifications. Well, first I want to thank all my Patreon members who helped make it possible to create videos like this. Well, thank you guys so much. And if you're interested in supporting me on Patreon, just go to patreon.com slash organized planner chic. Okay, you guys, no makeup, hair wrapped up, you know, all that good stuff. It is so hot in the Phoenix Metro right now. I can't even describe how incredibly hot it is. So I'm not going to put on any makeup. I'm not going to worry about my hair. I just want to try to be cool, as cool as possible while we continue to unpack this house. So what I'm going to do today, I know is a different video, but I really felt like I needed to get my craft room together for the most part so that I could work. And then the kitchen so that we can cook a lot more easily, um, you know, because we live around the kitchen. So I have been spending a lot of time trying to get the kitchen mostly in order. And I thought I'd just bring you guys along with me. And then next week I'll get back to my regular um, journaling and planning and art and all that good stuff type of videos. All right, you guys. So all of this stuff pretty much that I'm going to show you came from Dollar Tree. I'm trying to think if anything didn't. Oh yes, I did get my tablecloth from Amazon. But you guys, I'm so excited to show you what's happened so far in our kitchen to organize it and decorate it. So let's get to it. Okay, you guys, I have two favorite things about our DIY farmhouse kitchen using Dollar Tree products and a couple of other really in inexpensive things from other stores. And so the first one is our little dining table. It's just a little fold over ta or foldable table that I got, oh gosh, a few years ago from Goodwill. And it's a really nice sturdy table. It actually has a tan top and not a black one. And the way the legs fold, it's just really comfortable and you can fit under the table without anything blocking your legs and it was like probably four dollars yes and so i ordered this tablecloth from amazon isn't it so cute so my husband's favorite color is yellow and i didn't get the bright yellow ones i thought it might be a little too much for the rest of the kind of country decor this time with the way i was setting it up with the sunflowers and so i got this one they had different options and i'll link it in the description below but it was $14 and change and it was specifically designed for this size table now you see my wrinkles I need to iron this it is not plastic it's fabric so I can throw it in the washing machine the plastic ones are nice too to just wipe down but I really did like this one it's called a honey color and then from Dollar Tree I got these real pretty sunflowers that are in this vase or vase so there are a couple of different types of flowers here all from dollar tree and here and then the sunflowers so i'll show you these are so pretty there aren't i mean there's several little ones on one stem or one little yeah so there's three isn't that pretty so yeah so i got those from Got those from Dollar Tree, and I think they look really nice in this Dollar Tree vase. Look at that. So I want to like straighten it up a little bit, <laughs> even while I'm filming. But okay, I'm being a perfectionist now. Let me stop. Okay, so yeah, really nice, cheap. I'm going to get some clear uh, little marbles, you know, that they have there in that section in Dollar Tree to put in there, and I think it'll look even cuter. So the placemats, I've already had those from Goodwill. They're the kind that you wipe down. And the basket I got some time ago from Goodwill. And then I just used fabric for napkins. These are that, um, I forget what you call this material, but I got those from the 99 cent store. There's like eight in a pack and I got a few. And then this is one of my favorite things about our table, y'all. Oops, I'm gonna pull out a different chair because that one is a little tucked in right now but look at this so these chairs came from goodwill i've had them since we moved to arizona and 
the chairs came from Goodwill, the pads came from Walmart, so I already had those. But then these that are on top are from Dollar Tree. Oh my gosh, isn't that so cute? So I got four, even though we only have three chairs sitting at this table. You never know when you need an extra, or you have four people sitting, because we do have another chair that can go here. We actually have a couple of them. And so, um, yeah, it's so pretty. So it's not the most functional in terms of this is going to be good padding for your derriere when you sit down but it's really cute to put on top of one that you already have and it was only a dollar so I think that is so adorable okay I'm trying not to make too much noise when I slide this chair up to the table you guys but so yeah so Dollar Tree chair pads super cute with the sunflowers oh my goodness I love that the real pretty sunflowers on the table inexpensive vase from Dollar Tree that is one of my favorites my second favorite I'm going to show you guys at the end because I it's probably number one all right okay now coming away from the table this way I've got some other really nice Dollar Tree goodies so I'm just going to kind of pan from this angle where you can see there's a basket I already had from Goodwill for some time ago got the fridge and then here I'm going to come back over these things in just a little bit and remember guys this kitchen is not finished it is a work in progress and we are just getting started and let's go this way and let me show you these so these are pot holders that I got from Dollar Tree with the sunflowers isn't that beautiful so they are two for a dollar so I have one hanging right here and then I have one hanging right here and I think they are so pretty so look at that and now let's pan back over slowly to the table and the chairs yes that is so nice you guys so go out and check them out if you, I love sunflowers I doodle them a lot they have been, been they have been in my bullet journal videos so check those out and then I also before I go over these lemon deals these lemon uh, pot holders and everything I'm going to show you I also got these now these are really nice they are one dollar each they're not two for a dollar but they are really nice they're not the thinner ones um, they're nice and thick I have been using them to pick up pots and things while I'm cooking and they are nice and strong and they come again one for a dollar and then let's see I have the other one here in the drawer so pretty just gorgeous yeah and then I've got some of the lemon now these so let me put these back in the drawer so we can be focused on <laughs> what we want to look at right now so these are the lemon pot holders and they are really really pretty look how pretty that print is but they are definitely thinner than the stronger ones so that you would get at a traditional store like you know Walmart or wherever and they're so pretty but they aren't they are thin and but you know they're good enough for they're not like terrible thin they're just not as thick and strong as these um, mittens and the mittens that I've gotten previously so yeah I call these pot holders these are mittens mittens I've gotten historically from ooh squeaky drawer that I've gotten from um, Dollar Tree in the past were thin but these are nice and thick and strong okay and so then up here on the wall you know we've got some more we've got that pot holder and mitt there and these are so pretty and these um, are just as strong as the the ones with the sunflowers they're so pretty and then I've got two more over here and then let's just kind of look at this get my camera to focus so there at the top on the right you see two sifters one for tea and another bigger one and then on the left I have a sifter and I'm gonna get something else to go on the other side of that and then under there we've got the pot holders and the mitts and then I think this is so nice this was built in is 
this cabinet and so I've got all my essential oils I got my camera focus there I've got my essential oils on that shelf there and then here at the bottom of that I've got my measuring metal measuring spoons I'm going to I have some plastic ones we do have some things that have not been unpacked you guys so we're working on it but we've got that a little jar I don't know what my son put in there and then the glass measuring cup so I'm gonna put my other plastic measuring spoons up there as well and then all of our seasonings. So you guys, we are foodies here and I like well seasoned food. I just can't just have a little salt and pepper. So those are our seasonings. And we like to cook, especially my son. He likes to cook. I like to bake, but um, he loves to have fresh food for every single meal. I'll eat leftovers, he will not. And so I got this little chess thing, a majig. I'm calling it sort of like a little island against the wall. I got this the other day from Goodwill and it was $17 and change. Yes. And so it is holding all of our baking supplies and there's no Dollar Tree stuff in there at all. But I just wanted to show you guys that I think it's so nice. And we've just got some cutting boards and some mixing bowls sitting on top of that. And so yeah, I'll just come from this way and you can kind of see how it looks whenever I walk through the kitchen. Well, let me back up here. and We'll just pretend like we're walking through the kitchen. <laughs> and I smile every time I come through and I see this little sort of gingham dining set. Yeah. <laughs> then we come this way and we're gonna focus camera. And then we see that little chest or hutch, I don't know what I want to call that, but I, I know I'm going to change the top of it because it is, I do not like it. And so I'm going to either, what I think I'm going to do is either paint the top of it white and leave the rest the color it is, or paint the top of it white and paint the rest of it a gray color. So tell me what you guys think. I'll show you what gray color I'm thinking about whenever we go into the pantry. So should I paint this? top white and leave the rest the way it is or should I paint the top white and paint the rest a gray color or should I leave it as it is I do not like the top though <laughs> so that's probably not going to happen and then we've got a few storage things here that we've had before that we just transferred over from, from uh, where we were living uh, from Dollar Tree and so these are basically our junk drawers, but everything is not moved over again or hasn't been unpacked. So, oh, this was from Walmart though. But these are Dollar Tree. Of course, they don't look like they will when they're all full of stuff. These are actually from Walmart. And then these are from Dollar Tree. And I think we have a couple more coming over because all of our junk or 99% of our junk drawer stuff is has not been opened. Okay, and like we have another container to hold serving or cooking utensils that is not over here just yet, or not open and unpacked just yet. Okay, so we do have these. So I have a few of these, you know, the DIY Lazy Susans. So this is holding almost all of the oils and uh, vinegars. And then there's some more oil back here and a vinegar maple syrup and that salt is too tall to fit anywhere else <laughs> it's tipping over also don't know what happened there all right and then we've got one up there all the way up there that's holding some of our vitamins and supplements and then we've got up here all of the rest of the vitamins and supplements now wait till you see what's inside of here I can open the door. <laughs> These beautiful sunflower plates. Oh my goodness, isn't it beautiful? I got a set of eight, you guys. And I also got the little um, dessert plates. Yes, I got an eight place setting basically of this plate on the left and this dessert plate on the right they are gorgeous from dollar tree can you imagine that 
16 pieces for $16. Yes. Here we go. Ta da! Isn't that beautiful? So we start there. Let me open this door all the way. Start at the top. There's a couple of containers that don't have anything in them. So and all of these containers are from Dollar Tree. Look at that. And those little wire shells are from Dollar Tree as well. And then down here at the bottom, that contact paper is from Dollar Tree and the X-Acto knife that's hold, being held inside of a Dollar Tree toothbrush holder. All of that's from Dollar Tree, yes. And so those uh, little rings that are holding the labels, let me get closer so you can see what I mean. So this, I made these, I made one template of this um, cardstock that's back here. I made one and then I just traced a bunch of them and cut them out. I used one of my hole punchers, punched that, and these little ring holders are from Dollar Tree. You know, it's a pack of eight of these silver rings, and then inside is the little labels. So it's the little labels that you, gosh, I don't think I, oh, I do have a package left. I'll get that. Okay, so these are what are on that form that I created. Yeah, and then you just write on these little papers back here. I don't know if you can see that. And then you just slide that inside this part that has adhesive to stick. And that's what's on there. Yeah. So I'm going to try to let you see from a different angle if I can back up. And you can see how pretty it is. Oh my goodness. I love it. Well, that's everything that we have done so far in the kitchen, you guys. I mean, I definitely want to do some more things to break up all of the white slate. Like I want a, a large picture, large painting, something to go above the table. And then we'll just figure out whatever else. Eventually, we're going to want to, it's going to say need to, <laughs> but we're going to want to redo these countertops. I'm thinking kind of in like a... Um, I forget what you call those kind of countertops that are kind of like stone but when I remember if I remember what that word is I'm looking for I'll put it across as granite so I think eventually we'll replace these with granite counter stop Gr counter tops well thank you guys so much for watching today I hope you enjoyed today's video if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and comment and share it really helps my channel a lot also you can check out all of my creative ventures and adventures on Instagram at organized planner chic I have two Facebook groups the local one that's for uh, people in this area is called Phoenix Planner Friends for Christ and we normally meet in person once a month but because of COVID-19 we're meeting and doing everything on Facebook and then the other one is called is for anyone around the world It's called Organized Planner Chic Crew and there we do giveaways and we stay in touch just about every day with all different types of posts all right, and if you're interested in supporting me on Patreon, just go to patreon.com slash organized planner chic. And until next time, happy planning.